The weekend's weather is looking relatively quiet, certainly quieter than we started the week with all that stormy weather. Still quite breezy with a few showers, particularly across parts of Scotland, but for most of us, a dry weekend in store and things turning milder, particularly by the time we get to Sunday. Still not particularly cold, but 14, possibly 15 in that warmer air down towards the southeast. So the week ahead, Still fairly unsettled in the north and west, showers at times, drier conditions further south and east, and for all of us, it's a mild week ahead. Before we go to the weather here, we're going to take a look at what the driest place in America currently looks like. So this is Death Valley in Southern California. And it doesn't look that dry at all, actually, does it? No, it's called uh, Lake Manly, and it was uh, formed by rare heavy rains last year. And now scientists are warning anyone hoping to see it to be quick. They say it is dry, drying up again fast, and what you can see there will not last long. So enjoy splashing around in that oversized puddle. The extremes of the weather, Simon, are extraordinary sometimes, aren't they? They are, yeah. We saw yesterday, didn't we, about those extreme temperatures in, in southern Spain. Spain, the Pyrenees. Yeah, quite incredible, isn't it, that we've got these uh, big temperature contrasts across the, uh, the world. Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah. look. Now, look, you see this. I wanted to cheer up the yes. breakfast audience this morning. I got very excited when I went home yesterday and found the crocuses just beginning to burst open in my garden. So this is your garden? I mean, yeah, let's not look too closely <laughs> at it, shall we? T talk us Slow through as well. uh, Rachel's lovely. garden, Simon. Just look uh, oh, it's beautiful, isn't see. it? I can see a lovely picture of the snowdrops. Um, but, you know what, yesterday was nice, wasn't it, for most yeah. of us, with that sunshine. And can you rem remember the name uh, that you give when you feel the warmth of the sun on your face? Mm. Can you remember the name? Like Apricity. Apricity, there we That's go. That's the warmth of the winter sun, That's isn't it? That's it, yeah. So you may have felt that yesterday with yeah. that sunshine. It did feel nice, didn't it? And I think just little things like that does gladden the heart. It does, and Is certainly... Is your heart gladdened? Science. Yes, it's, uh, no, they're lovely. Can we have more pictures of Rachel's garden? No, that's it. That's it, just two of them. Oh, but OK. Our weather watchers have sent some pictures in of uh, some pretty nice flowers, crocuses, snowdrops, I don't know what they are. Uh, good morning, everyone. But, yeah, uh, milder weather, actually, for the next few days. And with some sunshine, you might well feel that apricity. So not feeling too bad for many of us over the weekend. It's going to be largely dry, although there is a little bit of rainfall in the forecast that's affecting the far north of Scotland. Some strengthening winds here as well. And you can see the satellite picture. We've got lots of clear skies over Europe at the moment. That's a big area of high pressure extending its way into the UK. Some weather fronts are affecting northern and western areas. And we've got a difference in temperatures this morning, 7 to 10 degrees for many of us. But in the southeast, with those clearer skies, it is actually quite cold, quite frosty, minus 3 degrees Celsius at the moment. Um, no, there won't. It's nice, actually, in Ipswich today. There'll be uh, some sunny spells. Temperatures getting about 9 or 10 degrees Celsius. It's not bad. Great stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Uh, yeah, so uh, it's a lovely day, really, for many, many of us today. And uh, we saw Rachel's garden earlier with the crocuses and the snowdrops. Look at this, the lovely daffodils coming into bloom there in Surrey at the moment. But uh, while it's mild for many of us at the moment, it's actually quite chilly this morning in the southeast of England. We've got a frost, temperatures down to minus three degrees Celsius. That milder weather, though, further north and west, seven to ten degrees at the moment. But there is the southeast. This is just a moment ago in Kent. You can see some frost on the ground. A beautiful sunrise, though, uh, here this morning. There'll be some sunshine, as I said, for many parts of the UK. But we're also enjoying the little things this morning. We are. The this small is nice. Things. Exactly. Yeah, look, you know, it's, we're enjoying seeing some uh, pictures this morning of crocus, of snowdrops, daffodils even starting to bloom. Just a small sign of things improving, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, good morning. We've got a fine dry weekend for many of us this weekend, but it's quite chilly this morning in the southeast of England. Temperatures here down to minus three degrees Celsius. It is milder, though, further north and west, eight or ten degrees Celsius at the moment. But a beautiful start to the day for many of us. Look at this scene in London this morning with that sunrise. Now, that is a beautiful, beautiful sunrise this morning, if it is indeed this morning. It is this morning, yeah. Only an hour ago or so. Um, getting to that time of year now where we're getting more and more daylight, actually about three minutes per day. Lovely. Extra daylight we're getting. So that's uh, feeling quite nice. And the other thing as well is the sun is a little bit higher in the sky. You might notice that apricity, that feel of the warmth of the, the winter sun on your skin. Might get that this weekend with some sunshine. 
Uh, good morning. Yeah, lovely sunrise this morning. That's in Dorset. Although it was quite chilly here this morning. Temperatures got down close to freezing. We saw minus two, minus three degrees in the southeast. And another lovely sunrise here in Nottinghamshire. There's a bit more cloud the further north and west you are uh, this morning. But for most of us, this weekend is looking fine and dry with some sunny spells. Although there is a bit of rain affecting the far north of Scotland.